Hey everyone, welcome to today's News Minute here on Ocala.com. Today is Tuesday, the 23rd of February. I'm Kamal Hostin. Let's get right into it. But before that, I just want to mention to you we're still in the Ocala HQ, Ocala.com HQ. That is, our studio is undergoing some extensive renovations. But let's get right into it. First up, a 47 year old Summerfield man, apparently on his way to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, was struck and killed by a hit and run driver Monday evening. You can find more details here on Ocala.com. In other local news, 63-year-old Marilyn Gibbs has died after being struck by a car Monday night while crossing Southwest 19th Avenue Road. Gibbs and her husband Floyd were from Iowa and in Ocala on business. Moving on to sports news, Jason Williams left a courthouse today in handcuffs after he was sentenced to five years in prison for the uh, fatal sh uh, fuck. Moving on to sports news, Jason Williams left a courthouse today in handcuffs after he was sentenced to five years in prison for fatally shooting a hired limo driver in 2002. The former NBA star tearfully apologized to the victim's family. He will be eligible for parole in 18 months. Entertainment news coming up for you. Jay Leno will be reclaiming The Tonight Show March 1st, and Sarah Palin and Jamie Foxx are among some of his first guests back. And finally, we've launched uh, some new forums here on Ocala.com. You want to get on those and uh, let us know what you think. And also, when you're on the go, you're on your iPhone or your BlackBerry or whatever, you want to get on Ocala.com, you can add it to your homepage. Well, this is an iPhone, but here's Ocala.com. Click that guy, add to home screen, and look at that. There is Ocala.com on your home screen. Also, hit us up on our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter pages. That'll do it for today's News Minute. I'm Carl Hostin. I'll be back here on Wednesday.